I'm Kim Brown. Glad you could join me today. Would you carry coins in a sack that had a hole in the bottom? I'm going to guess probably not. If you noticed that hole, would you begin to mess with it and make it bigger? Probably not. If you noticed that hole, would you continue on your journey losing coins all along the way simply because you didn't have a needle and thread with which to repair that hole? Again, I'm going to guess probably not. I'm going to guess that you would probably use whatever you had in that moment to keep yourself from losing any more coins. You would use a piece of tape or a hair tie or a shoelace or even your shoe. Consider, gratitude mends the whole. And may I suggest that that gratitude does not have to be expressed towards your pain point, your trauma, your disaster. That gratitude can be expressed for anything even if that something seems insignificant. And may I also suggest that if the words gratitude or thankful are words that just irritate you, then don't use them. Find a word or phrase that works for you. There are many ways to express gratitude without using the words grateful or thankful. For example, you could say, well, that could have been a whole lot worse if it hadn't been for, or isn't it cool, or isn't it wonderful, or isn't it fascinating, or isn't it fabulous, or isn't it great that, or I'm so glad, or what a blessing. There are many ways to express our gratitude. Use what you have in the moment. Now, it's a couple weeks shy of four years since my husband died. And I can tell you, I was not thankful back then that he died. The only thing I could be thankful for in that moment was that I knew how to put my hand on my chest, feel my heart beat, and begin to calm my breathing so that I didn't hyperventilate and pass out. And today, almost four years later, guess what? I'm still not grateful that he died, but I'm grateful for the person I have become. That's what I'm grateful for in this moment. And I'll tell you something else I've discovered since he died. I've discovered there is nothing insignificant. He loved popsicles and he ate them all the time. And wherever he happened to be when he took the last bite of popsicle is where the popsicle stick ended up. And I would always say to him, guess what? There's this marvelous new invention called a trash can. Would you like to learn how to use it? And because his popsicle sticks were everywhere, when we moved here a thousand miles away, and began to unpack our belongings, guess what we discovered? <laughs> One of his popsicle sticks. And I was so glad. And I keep this popsicle stick right here on my desk to help me remember there's nothing insignificant. And you know what? There may be a day in the future when I will actually discover that I'm grateful he died. But guess what? That day ain't today. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Today, I'm gonna do what 
I can do using what is good for me and express gratitude and mend that hole. And as I mend that hole, I change my whole perspective. The most amazing experience you will ever have is the experience of changing your mind. Consider giving yourself permission to learn how to do so. You really are worth it. Thanks for watching this video and remember no matter what you've experienced in the past, you don't have to remain stuck there. Today is a new day. See you next time.